A really, really successful night. Highlights for you? Obviously, you got to go with the John Jones. Incredible card, almost an incredible card. Um, the main event was unbelievable. John Jones, what he accomplished tonight after having so much time off to go in against the nasty, tough, motivated Daniel Cormier and do what he did tonight, unbelievable. Yeah, Jones said he felt Cormier had improved in there as well, but to pick a man like Cormier up after that kind of defeat, um, you were having some words with him. Can you share a little bit of what you said? Well, he, you know, he was out of it and he was mad about the stoppage and saying that he wasn't out and he was screaming at the ref and, you know, he was acting a little crazy in there and, you know, I'm, 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 I like Cormier very much as a person and as a fighter. And I know th that he was out of it, and that's why he was, I was telling him, you have to stop, calm down, calm down. Um, Do you think we're seeing him back in the octagon again? Obviously, he needs some time now, but based on that defeat? Yeah, I think he needs to go take some time with his family, digest this fight, and um, he's one of the best fighters in the world. Yeah. And obviously, Brock Lesnar, um, that was John Jones called him out. You sort of dismissed it earlier this week, but does that now become a talking point? Well, apparently, uh, Brock Lesnar just put out a, a thing with the AP that said, be careful what you what you wish for, young man. So <laughs> even if Brock Lesnar wanted to come back, he'd have to be in USADA for six months. So um, sounds fun, but we'll see what happens. What did you think about Chris Cyborg from tonight? She looked awesome. And, and, you know, she looked like Cyborg tonight, as usual. Tanya Evinger put on a very gutsy and tough, tough performance. Uh, much respect to her. What do you do with... She was saying that she was more technical, that uh, in the past she was my, more like brutal, but today she was studied more. Yeah, yeah, I think that, you know, usually Cyborg comes out like a bat out of hell and tries to take your head off. She was very um, poised, controlled tonight, took her time, uh, felt like she knew what the end result was going to be, and she just wanted to, you know, take her time. Can, what can you talk about the future of the division? Because with Jermaine out, and we have like Holly. Blue and Holly Holm was just over there. I said, "Come on, Holly. You know that's a that's a good fight, and I, I think Holly's thinking about it." And talking of the co-headliner, Tyron Woodley retained his belt. The booze once again for Tyron, and he said it's because he's fighting specialists, and he wants you know a more um, freestyling fighter. Is there you know is GSP the the next fight for him? Is that going to happen, or you know who, who do you put in there with him? He said. What did he say? He said he's always fighting specialists and he'd like a freestyle the, yeah, type that, fighter to sort of really showcase all of his skills. That fight was anything but special. Showcase all of his skills? It was... Too, uh, I don't even know what to say. Well, don't quote me word for word, but something to... Uh, well, we're, we're I, don't, I don't even want to relive that fight in my head for another second. I mean, this sums it up. They broke a record tonight. The least punches ever thrown in the crappiest fight you've ever seen was 130 punches. They threw 60. Okay, so that it's that's how bad the fight was. Well, let's talk about GSP and Michael Bisping. You said that ship had sailed, but um, with maybe Woodley not being the next one to fight GSP, uh, you know, if we even had um, or Bisping had um, GSP on his podcast saying, "Let's make this happen." I'm absolutely 100% giving that fight to Michael Bisping. Oh, there's there's the news item. Thank you, Dana. Uh, and Manua, after his loss. I he? know that Michael Bisbing will fight. He'll show up and he'll actually fight. I know he will. So, Bisbing GSP is on. And Manua, um, with, after his loss, do you think Gustafsson now is the next opponent for Jones? Huh? After Manua lost today, he was probably, you said before, he, he was your backup player yeah. here. So, Gustafsson, is yeah. he probably the next one? Yeah. I, I don't know. We'll let's see what let's I talk. I don't know. I don't make fights the night <laughs> of the fights. Let's talk about what was a pretty exciting fight. Um, Robbie Lawler and Donna Cowboy Cerrone. A close fight as well. And, and there were some boos for Lawler getting that win. What did you think? Yeah, it was a great fight. Uh, he came out like, you know, like an animal trying to take Cowboy out. Cowboy weathered the storm and turned it into a really good fight. Great fight. By any chance, did you see Gustafson's tweet about Brock call out? No. Right, you want to see it? Yeah. Grass champ, stop asking for retired fighters. I've been waiting to put my hands on you. Ooh, I like it, Alexander. <laughs> I like it. Cool. Thank you for that update. A lot of what tweeting going on tonight. <laughs> and what do you think of Volkan Ozdemir's Holy performance? Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. I, I just, yeah. He wants to be the fastest to rise to the belt, and he certainly made a claim for that right now. He sure did. Yeah. To do that to Jimmy Manoa, impressive. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Dan.